Okay, today we're talking about installing a 2-in-1 USB and duplex outlet. So you can see in this picture, it's your regular duplex outlet. So you can plug in an appliance or a light fixture or your charger adapter. However, you also have two USB ports to charge up your devices. Let's take a quick look at the product. This is a no-name brand made in China. 120 volt, 15 amp, USB port rated 5 volts. I'll try to unbox this one-handed while I'm holding the camera. <laughs> Comes with the cover plate, instruction manual, there's the outlet. Right off the bat I noticed the neutral and hot screws are the same color. You see that? Your hot screw should be the brass, your neutral should be the uh, silver colored screw. So I don't like that. There's your cover plate, simply snaps on to the front of the receptacle. Comes with an instruction manual. Let's take a look. So it gives you your wiring instructions, your white neutral wire goes there, your green ground in the middle and your black hot wire goes on the live wire terminal or wire it like this if you have this model. Here's the tools we will be using today a circuit breaker finder, wire strippers, multi screwdriver and a non-contact voltage tester. We probably won't need the electrical tape for this install. First, we need to find the circuit breaker that sends power to this outlet. So we'll plug in the transmitter. You can see the light is on. Now we'll walk out into the garage. Here's our breaker panel. We'll turn on the receiver and we'll scan the circuit breaker panel. And you want to scan it a couple times, not just once to let the receiver learn the panel. Yep, looks like number five. Now we're verifying the power is off. We use our non-contact voltage tester as well. And you can see the power is off. Woo! Always turn the power off before doing electrical work. So let's remove our cover plate and gently remove the outlet from the box. The reason why this one has two black wires and two neutral wires, verifying the power is off, is because Power comes in, supplies power to this outlet, and then it also goes from this outlet to supply power to another outlet in this bedroom. So I even color coded that hot screw with the black Sharpie just to help you understand that's where your black wire goes. Now, even though we know the power is off, you still want to be careful not to touch the wires if you can, just as a best practice. Try 
trying to see if there's a good way to bend a, a hook shape into my ground wire there. Yeah, I think I can. Yep, use that loop hole on your strippers to bend a loop. Yeah, and that should go on now. This makes for a better connection. I'm not happy with the ground screw on this. It's a little bit flimsy. So now we'll do our neutrals. So you can see the black screw that I color coded. Make sure the screws are backed out. So we'll install our two neutral wires on the neutral side and then tighten that screw. Then we'll do our black hot wires, same thing. So your, your, your hot wires always go to the shorter slot on these receptacles and your neutral always goes to the taller slot on these receptacles. That's another way to know which wires go where. install the new outlet in the box. Use caution using a, a drill like this to drive your screws because you don't want to over tighten your screws. Just trying to get the outlet level square. And it simply snaps on. And there you go. So now the power's back on. And you can see I labeled it circuit breaker number five, controls the outlet. This is a great device. It tells you it's properly correctly wired. 61-500 is the part number. Now, here's a closer view of that ground screw. And you can see what I'm talking about, how the little ground plate is crooked and the bottom one is really thin. So what I found is when I tighten my ground wire down, it kind of twisted a little bit. Again, it's you know poorly made in my opinion. Another issue I found, it might've just been that I received a defective one that wasn't manufactured properly. If we look closely at the ground ports, you see the top one was machined correctly. The bottom one, if you notice, was machined wrong. If you look inside, you can see there's a a metal plate, a brass plate that was drilled too narrow. <gasps> so what that means when I try to plug in a three prong plug into that outlet on the bottom, it will not go in because the grounding prong can't make it past that little metal tab that's sticking out inside there. I can plug it into the top one, but not the bottom one. But again, this is a no-name brand. I think it was five bucks for this receptacle made in China. Sometimes you get what you pay for. Whereas if we compare that to a Leviton receptacle with USB charge ports, you can see clearly you have your, your bright brass, uh, excuse me, your, your brass terminal on top there. So brass to black for your black wire and it's labeled hot. And you see your white to bright, your white to the neutral silver colored screw there. And there you can see your green ground on the bottom. And if we look at the front, you can see the, the ground ports are machined nicely. So just keep that in mind. These are right around $11 at your local big box store home improvement store. So I'd recommend spending the extra few dollars by the well-known brand so you don't run into those minor little issues that I pointed out to you here. I hope this information helps you.
Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.